Hey, what's up? Welcome to my apartment. We in the building. It's the Gwyneth Guard DJ self. Now, um, I got the young bull in the building. Sugar Hill D Dot. What's poppin', man? There ain't no bro. Anyway. Sugar Hill, is this Sugar Hill that's in Harlem? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So Sugar Hill in Harlem. Where where is Sugar Hill in Harlem? Because I'm always I'm always confused, right? I'm from Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. So um what's that Sugar Hill area? Sugar Hill. Like I can't really explain it. It's like it's stuff. It's the like, west side, something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's Harlem, West for me. You feel me? When you say a block is west, for me this. But it's really like for us, really like Hamilton, Sugar, every all of us are together. So the hill really like from like one forty fifth, one forty one forty third, one forty fifth, all the way probably like to one fifty fifth street. Uh -huh. And that's like Sugar Hill, just Sugar Hill, not Harlem exactly, but like Sugar Hill is a part of Harlem. So that little area is like. So y'all, 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 you don't consider that Harlem? You consider that Sugar Hill? Yeah, that, of course it's Harlem. Uh, I'm, is I'm, it? Uh -huh. I'm a Harlem baby. I'm gonna always say I'm from Harlem, but. I'm specifically from Sugar Hill. Mm. You know? Do you think Do you think Harlem molded you as a person? Uh, I don't really un, like. I don't really. Nah, I was always like on my own thing. Like I always like stood stood on my ground. I never like to be in different hoods. Always like being in my own area. Like mm -hmm. I never like never like going too far. I never like I was always taught to stay like like. You, the reason why I'm saying that, right? Because living living in Harlem, Harlem is Manhattan, mm -hmm. and and arguably Manhattan is one of the biggest, you know, si or, 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 even though we in New York City, but like that's the, one of the Probably biggest one of the areas. Biggest parts in New York, yeah. Not even New York in the world. You understand what I'm saying? Like you know, when they talk about the world, they talk about Dubai, they talk about um, London and New York, and then when they talk about New York, it's mainly Manhattan. Manhattan. You understand what I'm saying? So this is somewhere like you, you're from. Like arguably one of the, the the best areas in the world, so that's why I'm asking. Does this like how 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 did that mold you as a person? Not even just an artist, but just as a person. Nah, it was always like it was always like a good feeling. Like it was always like Harlem is always different than any other like any other um, borough in New mm -hmm. York. Is like you know it's always like you always see the Dominicans in one place doing some crazy shit, and then. You know, everybody got their own part, but Harlem, Manhattan itself, like, I always just been to myself. Like I told you, I never stood out, never been, always always stood in my own little, mm -hmm. you know, little zone. I never went to Bronx, Queens, for me. Now, like, if I go to places, it's for business, you know, for mm -hmm. me. But, like, I always, you, I'm always Harlem, Manhattan. What, so far in your travels, um, what have you seen that's, like, wow? Oh, like... My first time traveling, like when I first went on, like I, when I was a kid, I, for me, parents take you places, but like my first time, like by myself and my, my man, my mm -hmm. friends, I went to Miami, went to Miami. And when I that's went normally, to, for me, that's normally the first place I went to New Miami. York is going. <laughs> that's, that's the sixth borough, okay? I, mean, I went to Miami. Then Puerto Rico, then DR. All right, <laughs> nah, but I already went there when I was younger, okay. so that's that uh -huh. nothing to me. So Miami, got gotcha. you. Went to Miami, and when I went to Miami, I was like, nah, this, for me, I realized, like, oh, nah, like, you really, you really realize, like, shit, this world mad big. Like, when mm -hmm. you step out of somewhere that you really known, see, kept seeing for the rest of your life, and then when you go somewhere else, like, nah, this world map big, and then you want to keep traveling. And then after that, I went to L.A. For me, started going to L.A. more. And then, I mean, shows, travel more places on the car. So what, what, what's the difference have you seen that's different? What's something that's different that you've seen that's out of the ordinary for you being from Harlem, New like, York? Like, I don't know. Like, I just, like, I don't know. Like, any New Yorker, like, you just... Like palm trees, like you know, New okay. York is no palm trees over there. So uh -huh. when you wake up to palm trees, you like, Shit. and you feel like you made yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and like when you in the five star hotel, you mm -hmm. in the top of the mirror, and you see in the whole Talk LA. Your shit. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is uh -huh. five star hotel. You heard it right. So one day I went to uh, Jackson, Mississippi. Right, mm -hmm. my first time in Jackson, Mississippi, and um, they eat spaghetti with barbecue sauce, and I was like. Uh, like it was no, you know, usually we use marinara sauce, red sauce, yeah. whatever. They use barbecue sauce. And that, that's like a regular, a regular thing. So I'm like, uh, but I tasted it, fire. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, wow. And that was like a regular thing there. So that's why I'm asking because I travel some places and um, 
you, you know, you see, and I'm just using food for an example. It's just different. It's difference with food. Also, um, in Chicago and in Toronto is the same thing. Um, big things are Paul's sausages. You know what I'm saying? Like here, you know, we got the sausage or, or the hot dogs. It's just use onions. Uh, Mustard. Mustard. Onions, the sauerkraut, blah, blah, blah. There's like, it's like um, peppers, onions, tomato. They got like, it's, it's like it's dressed up. Nah, but you see me, I'm like, I'm like very picky. Like, okay. Since a kid, like I never liked it. Like even no if, glizzies. even if, nah, not even not. Like, so you eat for glizzies? For me always, like from Stop. young, from young, from me. just ask if you eat glizzies. You know what you're doing though. Nigga, anyway. you, ate, you ate a glizzy one time too when you going <laughs> <laughs> like the fuck? The fuck? <laughs> He sure yeah, did. He sure did. Quite a few, probably. <laughs> Always been picky. So, like, when I see something, it's not like even if it's good, if it looks like disgusting in a way that I'd be like, nah, that shit looks too mushy or too, I won't eat it. So, when I travel places, like, all I eat is Chick fil A. Okay. Like, like, I go to LA, Chick fil A here, Chick fil A. So, that's your favorite? Food. Yeah, that's my favorite fast food restaurant, fast Chick fil A. I'm still a McDonald's boy, man. Nah, yeah, me too, for me. Like, you know, I'm from, you know, Harlem, 145th McDonald's right there, so I always go to McDonald's. But. Which one? That's I'm used 8th? to that shit. No, no, no. It's um on Broadway. On oh, Broadway. 45th. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right on the. T- okay, yeah, okay, okay. Right yeah, next yeah. to the train station. Yes, right uh-huh. there. So, so I, you know, what I learned from McDonald's, and it's weird, that this. this it's almost the same, but the price is different. It's a dollar cheaper for a double cheeseburger and a McDouble. Now, nah, you know what's different? The, the McDonald's over here in London is way different. They yes. be having different shit, like uh-huh. some like exotic. All different countries, but I don't yeah. know. I don't so know. So I, had a, I, had a, um, I was in Dubai, and I had a chicken, like a chicken Big Mac. But instead of the, the beef pulse, I had there's two chicken patties like that. So uh-huh. it was like a McChicken Big Mac. What the fuck? <laughs> so, so you know how Big Mac is is, is yeah, like it's like beef? the it's like the big shit, but they how you put the McChicken? You put the chicken in instead of the instead of the beef is the chicken instead. Oh, so like they that. put in chicken instead of beef. Instead of beef, oh. yeah. So they got so they had like a, a McChicken. What was it called? Is it is it Big Mac McChicken? Something like that. I, I don't know the name of it. I gotta find the picture. I took a picture with it and everything. I took a whole photo shoot with it. So you know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is so now. I found out, and I, this might be a little information for anybody. Somebody might be watching or listening. So um, a double cheeseburger and a McDouble is primarily somewhat the same, right? The only difference is, is a slice of cheese, right? So in a double cheeseburger, they give you two slices, mm-hmm. and a McDouble, they give and you they one, one slice. slice. And the difference, the price difference is a dollar. So do you really want to pay that whole dollar for just a slice of cheese? You understand? I mean, so, so I'm I, mean I ain't gonna it. lie, I ain't gonna lie, bro. A dollar, a dollar ain't gonna kill me if I really like. Ooh, so. I see. That's nah, gonna kill me, baby. A dollar Give ain't me a gonna... McDouble all day. That's because you cheat. But that, right. that what you just said is dumb. Like, why would you put one and then order and um, charge more for just because they got yeah, two? Yeah. So, so I'm okay. just saying. So anytime you go, next time you go to McDonald's, be like, yo, give me a McDouble instead of a double cheese. If you eat. Double cheese, but like for for that, I'll just eat the one with two cheese all the time, and I'll just pay the one with the extra dollar all the time, and I won't keep going back and forth. I'll just Ooh, stick on one. He said, "I spend more money." Okay, talk your ish, baby. For all that, I'm gonna spend more money. The dollar. Anyway, you love your food. So the first time you went to Miami, was that to shoot your video, 3 a.m.? Oh uh, no, no, no. no? Actually, okay. I did the song over there. I okay. recorded it over there. And you met Drake and Twenty One Savage when yeah, you were there. Yeah, How was that? Man. Was that your first time meeting Drake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You made Twenty One. Can you do something for me? Nah, I met my son Twenty One. For me, I was for me having good conversation with him. I actually ran into Drake first. Ran into Drake. For me, he was happy when he saw me. Look like like you could tell when somebody gave me a hug. So I, he good energy for me. He's mm-hmm. a positive person. He give give good advice to people. He was giving me advice. I was just talking and having a good time. For me, playing playing. Um, that shit called bowl, bowling. Bowling. Alley. Yeah, uh-huh. bowling. I was playing bowling. I mean, so my son, 21, wanted to sell us up to him. Let me start chopping it up. Let me go all positive energy. I met a couple people in there, too. I mean, I met a couple people in there, too. I forgot. But they not, I don't really think they, um, they, I, I, they just people who chill around my son, Drake. So mm. I was just introducing myself to everybody. Was that like an amazing thing? Now, yeah, Drake? yeah, yeah. It was, it was. They're like we was oh we was in Miami chilling we was in the we was chilling driving around having a good time and Drake just I ain't called you ain't get a verse like you were like yo what's up with that verse my son <laughs> nah nah um 
I forgot who told him, but somebody told him, yo, it was me, my son Didi, my son Didi Osama. We met, we went to, we, um, somebody, I forgot who told him, somebody said, yo, do a, do a verse for my little brothers. And for me, it was just like a, in a moment thing, but nah, we didn't really get to, we were just having a good but time. But sometimes you got to follow up, you know, you got to hit them in the DM, like, yo, listen, here go the track, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes you got to follow up, baby, that follow up game, you know what I'm saying? Because you never know, like, you might get it, and I think that, us being from New York, we be so so like modest and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and we act like we I ain't on that nigga dick. Da -da -da. Yeah, bro, <laughs> that be that be the problem yeah, with certain <laughs> shit. Feel me? Like you wouldn't, like you wouldn't want to be like, yo, why would I, like, feel me? Like for example, somebody invite me to a video, but not the specific artist inviting me. Mm -hmm. Just like somebody around be like, yo, this person shooting a video, pull up, and I be like. Wow, wow, I gotta come there and invite me, feel me? Mm -hmm. I ain't, there's just little shit like that for me. But I, I think that's us being from New York, you don't yeah, think that? Yeah, that's okay. just a New York thing for mm -hmm. me, I think. I don't think that's from anybody else or any city. Or, I just think that's a New York thing. Mm -hmm. like, so, so Orlando found you, right? Like the mm -hmm. sign you and stuff like that. I, I've, I've known him for many moons and I've known him for even, um, I don't know if, I'm not saying he found a boogie. I'm not yes, sure. But he did. A boogie. Um, P and B, P and B, Kodak, think. Kodak, yeah. yeah. I know about Kodak. Um, I don't. Did he find a boogie? He did. I know he was around in the beginning. I don't want to do that because O was my guy. You know, what I'm saying O been around for he, even he before that. Nah, no, I think he. I think he like did. That. I, I do. I remember did. him being there in the super beginning, one hundred percent. But I you know think he did though. Cause, okay. Because so, when him and P and B was together, they was always mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. So I think he did. Mm -hmm. I, I remember that. Um, I remember um, with O, and I'll get back to what I asked you. Um, with P and B Rock, he broke his leg at this particular time, and um, and we couldn't have guests at the radio station. But I really wanted him at this. Ra I really wanted to interview P and B Rock, and uh, my my P uh, my P my PD, which is the boss at the time, was um, he was he was still there. And I was like, dang, PMB's outside. And my this particular time, he stayed like to like 12 midnight from like 9 to 12 midnight. And PMB Rock stayed outside for three hours, him and O, and waited in the car and waited to, to you know, just so he could do the interview. And I, I appreciate him for that, even though he passed away and stuff like that. With a broken leg. You know, so um, no, I wouldn't have done that. I, I'm broken <laughs> leg. Broken. I ain't going to lie. You got to think of it. Say, Will you do it? Broken leg. Let me say yeah, this. I'm gonna tell on. you, I would. Yeah, uh, yeah me I, personally, I, I, I would do it, bro. Okay, me, I would do it. Bro. No, you, you gotta keep it real. Don't keep it real, <laughs> nah, man. Nah. Fuck that nigga self. I'm out, man. Nah, nah, nah. I'm nah, doing man, it, but it thing. gotta, it gotta, it gotta <laughs> depend on what situation I'm in. Like if my leg is hurting, I'm there for hours. Well, he had, he had the. I don't know what they call them shits now, cause I started like, recently saying fuck with you, bro. So I would have stood. You know when the niggas got the little scooter shit when your leg break? Oh yeah. What's the name of that shit? I forgot. You know what I'm talking about, right? You put your leg on it, you can just roll around. Yeah. With shit. It's so like he had the that. shit that you could put like yeah, put it like here, and then you just start riding. Yeah, you just ride and shit yeah. like that. So he had that. So and I was like tag, and I just I just met him at the time, and I was like, yo, he really wants to you know pop with his career and stuff like that because he he stood like you know I, I kept coming down. I said, yo, my PD still here. You know he, he you know he don't want no company. There's something happened at the time where we couldn't have company. I can't remember. Oh, guess I wouldn't use company. Guess. Um, and I was like, tag this guy, you know, really, um, you know, really, you know, stuck it out. And I was applauding O2, Orlando, because he stood with him. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Like, he stood with his artists. And, and, and I know at the time he wasn't managing. Like, he was, he was the person, like, signing the artists and stuff like that. So he didn't have to do that. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I know that he has that in him, and he really cares for his artists. So I, what do you think that what he saw in you? to make him reach out for you. Because he actually called me about you also. He made a personal phone call and sent me your music and stuff like that about you. So what do you think made him look for you? Uh, honestly, bro, to be honest, like, in the artist, like, as you as an artist, you will never know. Okay. Feel me? You will never be like, yo, bro, why? Feel me? You will never, like, exactly, like, right now, I don't know how to explain it. You will never know why they would want to, for me, like, Olaka said that I was trying I mean, I was, I mean, uh, O O wasn't the only person that tried to sign me okay. too. For uh -oh. me, it was, for me, like, <laughs> he was hot out like there. That. For me, yeah, but like, for me. So why did you sign to O since? Nah, because it's all you? like, um, it's all about good, positive, good energy and good. Um, for me, like, I forgot what's that word. Like, 
vibes. Uh, vibe, yeah, uh -huh. like good vibes and good energy and old give me all of that, bro, feel me? Old give me. And he smoke weed with you and all that too. Nah, nah, I don't, not even that, bro. Nah, nah I'm keeping old it. Old smoke weed, man. Okay, listen. I, nah, no cap. Or two, I never even saw that side of O, so you can't. You never seen the smoke weed? I never saw that side of O. Oh, he must have stopped. Bro. I'm not that's you, bro. Stuff. I never seen that okay. side of O, so I can't I can't talk for that. But I could talk that for me, he's a good genuine person. For me, good good vibe. Was it legal to smoke weed? I thought weed was legal. But, so but congratulations to O. He's come a long way and he's doing big things at priority. So shout out to O. Oh yeah, we gotta be good. We supposed to corporate now. He corporate now. He wearing suits. He did have glasses on now. <laughs> I did see him with glasses on. Oh, glasses with no prescription. <laughs> yeah, no, just play. Let me stop killing. Oh, yeah, I was saying. Hey, so. <laughs> no, go ahead. So, so hip hop. When did you first fall in love with hip hop? Because you're 15. So I'm, I'm, I'm figuring. Early memories of hip hop to you was early Drake. Mm. Nah, like I started like for me, I had to. I found out like two a year ago, for me, year two years ago, that music is like my therapy for me. Like when I, okay. for me, like when I'm mad or something, I just listen to music or some shit. Or for me, I just cool down. But I really. So you always gonna like music, but I really, really, really started like me getting older and shit. I really started loving music, like around thirteen. I'm fifteen now, for me. So when I was growing up, for me, you, you always gonna have a favorite song and stuff. But like, really getting attracted to the music, started rapping, like twelve, thirteen, started rapping, twelve, freestyling on the block. Um, Grandma used to give me like forty dollars for the stool and shit, so I took it like serious, like around thirteen, twelve. Then I started like I really loved music and stuff, like around thirteen, twelve, around there. Who who are some of the early artists that you grew up on? Like who I was listening to a mm -hmm. lot when I was young. Like I was listening to like Mad Chris Brown, Fetty Wap. I mean, like Fetty Wap, old school oh, kid. I know, my God. Shout out to my For man me, Fetty yeah, Wap. Yeah, shout out to him, Brian. Oh Wap. yeah, that hey, was man. one of my favorite rappers when I was growing up. Fetty, uh, when I a little more younger, for me, I said in a couple more interviews. Sometimes a little bit of Tupac, sometimes because mm. my pops, my uncle. Oh, you always, drilled it in you. I mean, they they'll just listen to like I don't, now I don't know about all songs, but like one specific song for me, it was the the one that go like, Dead Mama was something about. Doing okay. coke, some shit like that. Uh -huh. yeah, that's what, yeah, dear, dear mama, mama. Uh -huh. that one. And then, yeah, Chris Brown, Fetty. Who else I was really listening to? I was, yeah, mainly Fetty though. I ain't gonna lie. It was like growing up Fetty. Yeah, Fetty from Jersey too. I think he took um, took the crown back up this way. You know, a lot of people don't give him respect um, that he deserves um, by putting out you know all those hits. Maybe because it was so fast and it was so clumped it up in one. And one um, general thing, you know, um, I don't know the situations that happened there, but um, shout out to RGF, um, they from Patterson. I don't know if you you frequent Jersey a lot, no? Uh, Jersey, nah, I don't really. Only person I really interact with Jersey is my son, um, BBD Step. I don't know if you know. Him. Okay. That's the only one I really interact with in Jersey a lot. I don't really interact with people in Jersey. A lot. I only. Yeah, that's the only person I really fuck with my son, BBG. Mm. Did you listen to any other 90s rappers? Because uh, I feel like a lot of the drill oh, music um, has some samples. Uh, like, not even drill. Like, like sometimes Beyonce. Like, my favorite song, Beyonce, because it was my fifth grade graduation, I think, is the one that go like, um, damn, I forgot. It's the one, damn. It's the one, it's like the cover art when it's white and black. Feel me? I don't know. I don't know the name of it, but I had a Beyonce song for my fifth grade graduation, so I used to listen to mm. that song a lot. I mean, so. But, but that's it, like no Biggie, no Nas. Mm, he no. wasn't born. I wasn't even born. Yeah, he was a yeah, Tupac, was. and his father was listening. But to I music. wasn't really even too into. You no, know? he didn't I care wasn't. about that Pac stuff. Yeah, baby. I ain't care about. No, no we're talking about. I mentioned Pac a lot in my in my interviews, but. I wasn't really heavy on it. Like, it was a one-song thing. I wasn't okay. always on a... Yeah. You know I mean? Stop, about, stop. Kid. Because Kodak. you be the first Kodak one to be like, you, know you don't that, know kid. who Rock you know is. Kodak, huh? You don't know his music. You know what I'm saying? No flocking. That's my shit, actually. I know. Thank you know you. what I'm saying? No flocking. Block! Anyway. <laughs> I can't stand you. <laughs> anyway. <Yeah. laughs> You're like a married couple, right? 
<laughs> I argue be, a lot. He would be so lucky, okay? <laughs> <laughs> he would be so lucky. <laughs> anyway, why you, what you made that eye contact for? I saw what you did. I saw what you did. Anyway, so... Cool God. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not cool, but I'm not, I'm not, no, I don't, I don't go younger than like six, seven We didn't years. ask you though. Anyway. Well, so I'm clear on my name. Uh, you okay. the cougar. You the one that, don't get me started. Yeah. Don't I, get me started I, I, with I your do daddy with daycare. Younger, I do with mess with younger daycare, bras. Okay. Yeah, I do mess with younger bras. Yeah. Take the them to old the head still get, yeah, The old head's still knocking them down. Hello. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's a little cotton candy bitches. Anyway. You got something to Nah, I just argue a lot. Like a <laughs> no, he picks on me. He don't pick on me. <laughs> pick on him too. I don't know. That's yeah, what he don't know. know. Moving on. <laughs> so y'all argue a lot. Y'all know that, right? Like a lot. No, because he's always picking on me. He always has something to say. I but try to be nice. I tell the truth. I heard man. them shits is not good for kids. Thank Ron? you. Thank he you. He said for kids though. Also, oh, for adults, it's better. Girl. I never tried one of those in my life. Yeah, this, this, I just, this my first time. This shit tastes just like the ice pop, like amazing. That's disgusting. Grow up. No, it's not. This tastes good. Who's I on never... your collab wish list? If you could have, let's say, like your top three collabs. Uh, you can have anyone. Dirk, my son, Lil Dirk. Uh, have you met him yet? Yeah, my son Shamark. Yeah, mm, my son Dirk. Who else? Um, I was, oh, well, you opened for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I, I'm, for me, me and my son locked in. That's, okay. that's bro. Um, Dirk, uh, Drake, of course. I always want a song. That's bro. Um, what would, what would your song with Dirk be like? Like, what, what would you talk about? Uh, I don't even understand. Like, I, like, I don't even understand or know. Like, cause it's like I gotta be like in the moment thing. I can't say. What the song's gonna be about? If I never feel me. If I never really feel me, actually been in the moment where bro, like yo, let's do a song. And you gotta, I don't know. I do a lot. I do drill music, but I've been starting to change my sound up lately. And I've mm -hmm. been doing shit about like females. So, do you think drill music will, will, will be around? A lot of times people tell me, oh, drill's gonna be another two years, and then that's it. Or do do you think do you think it's gonna stop, or do you think it's gonna grow? I don't really know, bro. The way it's looking right now is everybody's just doing, every drill artist is just doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. If you think about it, everybody's just making drill songs, doing videos to it, and dropping them on YouTube. Not really, <laughs> not really nothing else. They just talking about spinning somebody block for me. And the same thing, same thing that's going to get you locked up later. Mm -hmm. Do you be in fear of that? Nah, I don't, I don't, I don't. Think about that, cause I I'm, I know I'm sturdy. I don't think about that. I'm I'm, I'm my own man. I don't gotta well, think I'm, about. Well, that. sometimes w with those, with you know, with that, um, like you, you know, your man that could be down with your crew. If he do something, then they they grabbing everybody. Man, and they grab everybody. I don't know, man. man they can <laughs> grab them. nobody. Say nothing. I don't know. No, I don't know nothing. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't worry about stuff like that. Cause like you. I said, I'm good. Like it don't, it don't. They see how they know. Like cause that those stuff like that don't run in my head. Cause I know me and my niggas. That's I know my niggas is good too. It's not just me and Didi rapping from my hood. Everybody got their own little for me from my hood. So mm -hmm. I know me and my niggas good. So that's why that don't even pop up in my head. Mm -hmm. What what are you trying to you say you changing your sound? What are you changing it to? Like I'll be I'll, like five months ago, six months ago, I was drill rapping. Now I'm more on melodic mm -hmm. timing or talking about females more. Do, do you think that's because you get more chicks now? Nah, bro, not even now. It's just cause like I grew up more like and on uh -huh. rap rap wise, like I grew up more. I'm, I'm just figuring like being around women didn't like say all right, let me like of course like. Like for example, my new single that's about to come out, like uh, 3M and the M's. When I spoke about that whole song, I spoke about my whole my first trip in Miami, mm -hmm. Miami walking through the club. So me, everything, everything just adds up, and I mean, you gotta go through, like like I said, you gotta go through like stuff and go different places, and, like your music will get bigger. Like I work better when I'm outside of New York too. Mm -hmm. I mean, Why is studio. that? Cause like. I don't know. It's a different feeling. It's a different feeling out there. It's, it's, 
I'm always rapping in New York. I always, I'm used to seeing New York for 15 years. So when I go somewhere else, it's a different feeling. I could, like I'm in LA, I, I, I could rap about being somewhere else instead of New York. I mean, so that's the benefit of traveling. Like when you've been in New York City your whole life and you start rapping and then you start traveling, it's like your music changes, it evolves because yeah. your experiences evolve. Like right? my first trip out to Miami, I was really like, for me, experiencing how Miami is. But then when I went to LA, I went to LA, did mass songs in LA. And the more songs I was doing, it was the more I, I realized, like, the more I was growing in my music. My voice got deeper, everything for me. Everything. Did, did you ever tap in with some L.A. artists? Uh, to be honest, I don't think What about so. the culture and the music? I, if I go to L.A., I, the first thing I do, I like to turn on the radio to hear, like, the, the hits, the stuff out there. And I know that they play a whole bunch of different music, you know, that's from here. And it sounds a little bit different, too. A lot of the stuff is, um, to me, I want to use the word happy music, but it's, I, I don't, it's not like it's soft, but it's just more like a feel-good, party music and stuff like that. Like when some, I, dun, 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 like some, like I just, I just hear, like, the music is, I, I want to use it like the mustard type or, you know, um, uh... What's these guys named? Blue Blue Blucks? You ever heard of the Blue Blucks clan? Because I never turn on the radio on okay. nowhere else. I always, okay. always, always hear, like, you hear the radio sometimes, turn it off, then you connect. But I never, <laughs> was, never was a radio person unless my song not on the radio. <laughs> yeah, I listen to the radio yeah. when I want to connect my Bluetooth. <laughs> never really listen to the radio yeah. unless it's, like, me. Oh, that's it. I hear mm -hmm. you. Not a lot of people do this. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> Connect. <laughs> Listen to the radio when I switch aux plugs. No, but the reason why, well, maybe that could be a jewel that I gave you. Like when you go to certain towns, listen to the radio because now, yeah, that's you could that's you could idea. you could know you could know what's going on in 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 that place. And I think that us as New Yorkers, especially New York rappers, mm -hmm. um, and artists, that we think that the world revolves around us. And we don't know that there's a world outside of us. So when I say that, meaning, you know, we could be rapping and we'd be like, yo, I'm on 4 5th, and da 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 da. And then somebody that's in Texas, but what the fuck is 4 5th? You understand? Yeah. I'm from Brooklyn. I just learned what 8th, seventh, You said that already. And all that was. You understand what I'm saying? Why people from to Brooklyn me, always say, I'm from Brooklyn five times? You yeah, ever, like now, right? now that you from Brooklyn, let me ask you something. Right? Why would niggas say, yo, I'm from Brooklyn? I'm going to thank you from Brooklyn. I don't know what part you're from Brooklyn. Niggas just say, I'm from Brooklyn. That's it. Because Brooklyn, because uh, with people from Brooklyn, Brooklyn is over everything. So we all, <laughs> Brooklyn That's is just lie. one. That's it's a Brooklyn lie. over everything. That's a lie. Then, then you, you understand? So it's like, if it's if it's somebody from Brooklyn against somebody else, then all Brooklyn going to stick together. <laughs> but then they might fight each other. You understand what I'm saying? When we get back, we're going to fight each other. But outside is Brooklyn over, over everything. So I think that's what it is. Um, when it comes to Brooklyn, but like again, what I was saying, like I didn't know that the eighth was Linux or seventh was Linux. Mm, yeah, that's what I mean by that. Different, different. And shit, that's what bro. I was saying. You understand? Do you know what what Linux Ave is? Yeah. What First is it? of all, it's a street in Harlem. What are you talking no, about? No, so see, it's not. What do you mean? You what see, is look, it? Look, look, <laughs> Listen, I'm from you the see, Bronx. Thank you. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm, what I'm trying to explain now, you to you see, is... see, I don't know nothing about the Bronx. I only know, like, a little thing, like, Grand Concourse, a couple things. I don't... King's Bridge. The main okay, things that okay. you hear. Okay, that's a good, that's a good start. Feel me? Like, that's the main start. things that you hear, but I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know a lot of blocks Watch in the Bronx. Watch it, right? Watch it. I, yeah. You know what I think it is? So you probably haven't tapped in with a real Bronx person to, like... To, like Yo, how you gonna fucking... Seriously? What are you saying? I no, said, he, he, what are you talking about? Y'all both gonna stop talking shit about the Bronx. <laughs> I ain't talking about the Bronx. I'm, I'm saying I to him. I ain't saying nothing about the Bronx. I said how I Bronx. feel about the Bronx. I said to him. I ain't talking shit about the Bronx. I said how I feel about it. Mm, you heard what he said. I still talking shit. What I said <laughs> to him was he probably haven't tapped in with somebody that's official tissue from the Bronx to maybe, show him maybe. what the Bronx got. That's what I'm saying to you. You, you know, like something. You know. <laughs> he ain't okay. He's like, go on. <laughs> anyway, so we've spoken about good experiences from you, like starting to rap and travel. Mm -hmm. So, what's been the weirdest experience since you've been rapping? I don't like, know. Any I never fan went story, through no weird, weird shit. Like, I never went through. Like, of course, the fans gonna bug out the shows. Like, 
it's a weird experience. Like they chase you, all that. Never been through that before, so. But I'm getting used to that shit. You know what I'm saying? Used to that. Yeah, you get used. I get used to that now. Now I get used to that. But when it first started, like I was like, oh shit, fans chasing me around the mall and shit. And then for me now, I just like the more you grow, now you just the more like the more you just gotta move. Feel me? Structure, you gotta move. For me, the more bigger you get, the more structure you gotta move, and the more. Feel me? So that was just. Never been through no crazy shit. Only crazy shit I've been through is like the fans trying to get to me or trying to, for me, that's all. Never been through like no weird shit, nah. Mm, it's regular. The fuck is you talking about? <laughs> Hold yeah, on, it's, nigga. Shook, it's just been shook regular him. shit. Been regular since it started. Regular right. no. right. shit. Hold Yeah, regular. Like it'll be people like come up, take a photo, just regular shit. So you and you do well with that type of attention? Yeah, it'll be like sometimes like it'll be days like when I'm going through it and I don't wanna take pictures of nobody, but I can't do that for me because I know I'm a role model and I know I got people that's looking up to me, so I can't I can't I be thinking about how they feeling if they want a picture of me. So I know I'm a role model. I can't just say, nah, nah, I don't want a picture with you, bro, I don't take a picture. And then mm-hmm. imagine how they feel when they go back home, like, mm-hmm. damn, fuck this nigga, bro. This nigga fuck this nigga. <laughs> right. This nigga, this nigga they want to take a picture with me, bro. I mean, so I just think about how other people feel. Not probably at the moment I get mad and shit, cause oh I'm feeling I don't want to take a picture of nobody, but I mean I just you wiser do it. being wiser for them for me. I was gonna say you're really mature. Do you have like a mentor or these are things that you? Nah, just I've just with always been like this. I always mm-hmm. grew up with older people around me, so I never really chilled with the little kids. So I always grew up, always was taking notes from the older people. I mean, always doing stuff. Never chilled around people that was younger than me. Do you have siblings, or you only child? No, nah, only child. Mm, okay. Always been a lonely child. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get into the family, so I'm like, uh, what's wrong with his family? We, nothing. You just we're trying. I'm trying to get personal with him. Oh my bad. That's how girls is kids. Start sliding your DM. Let her live, man. Let her live. She good, bro. She good. She good. She good. Ah, she, oh, she, she good. good. Uh, oh, cause he said I'm good. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> so who did you grow up with? Who did you like? Who were you raised by? I'm always been a grandma baby. Grandma always baby. been a grandma boy for me. Always been with my grandma since I was. I mean, always been there. You know. Grandma always holds you down. Grandma always been a grandma boy. Always. Always been that. What you keep looking at me for like that? No, because I know you like to ask, you know, people like questions about their personal family. <laughs> I'm done. No, I know some people, you know, that they, they might touch their heart or something like that. Nah, yeah. you good, bro. New York. You good. Yeah. Ain't gonna bother me. Grandma, huh? Okay. What's your nationality? I'm um, Dominican. I Dominican. Yeah. From, from Santiago. Uh, Capital, oh, La Capital, Capital, Capital Macquarie, okay. around there. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the Sancocho capital, right? You ever had Sancocho? Sancocho, yeah. From, yeah. From it's Sancocho, not Sancocho. It's not Sancocho. Whatever, I'm, I'm Moreno, man. We say Sancocho, <laughs> yeah, man. But you know what I'm saying? It's I'm black, man. We say Sancocho, man. Just Give me soup. the Sancocho, Just man. That, the Spanish soup. Let me get that. <laughs> I always would stick to like eating rice and beans, never had sink. I always never really sometimes the sign culture or buzz, but always stick to the same meal every day. Rice, beans, chicken, regular stuff. Did you learn how to cook? No. No. <laughs> no. I try to make I try to make I try to all I'm really like for me, everybody gonna know how to make homemade sandwiches for me, but okay. I try to make <laughs> homemade I try, sandwiches. I try to make salami, like cheese. Or like mango. Yeah, and mango. I, I almost burnt the house down doing that shit. That's not easy to make all yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, I try to. That's not easy. I tried to almost burn the he house said, down. Yeah, I know how to make sandwiches. <laughs> so He's only fifteen. I thought, oh, yeah, I thought, I thought I almost burned the house down. I never tried. I always it, let right? my grandma just do everything, so I just stick to the sandwiches. And <laughs> Listen, <that thing>. Ask <laughs> him what he cooks. What do you cook? What you cook? Everything. Nah, you I ain't gonna lie. No right? cap. If you a man and you cook, that's that's a good look, bro. I ain't gonna cap. Uh-huh. That's, that's like. He's lying. Feel me? You. Women love that. Nah, if you lying, women do love that. Feel me? If you lying or not, I don't care. But I'm just saying. That. <laughs> nah, I ain't women love when a nigga cook. When a cook, me? right? Yeah. yeah. Women love when a nigga cook. Yeah. Right? You put a little special seasoning. Put a special. In there. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. What special seasoning y'all talking about? No, I just you know, not no R. Kelly or what? No, oh, because no Bill Cosby. Y'all stuff. went like this. That was concerning. no. We said like this. <laughs> you know, what needs saying? to clarify. Nah, that's okay. in the drink. It's okay to clarify. Yeah, it's, okay. it's all right. You it's know, all right. 
You know, did you get the special sauce after the meal? Hello? Anyway. Nah, I don't like sauces. Never been a sauce nigga. I always eat food regular. Never like sauces at all. Probably like, y'all know what a patalito you I know you, you have That's a the thing with the banana. Right? No. What the fuck? That's an acapulia. No. What? He said a patel- patelito. Yeah, empanada is the same thing. Patelito empanada is the same thing. Ain't the thing you put in the water and boil it and you put a, rub, a, a rope around the shit? That's patele. That's what he just said? Bro, he patelito is the, oh, patelito. Is the oh, girl yeah. that be walking around with the shit. It's an empanada, same thing. It's like cheese inside nah, the chicken. Know, that's, that's yes, you do know what that is. Bro, yeah, bro. I'm Every, black, man. We eat collard greens, You from New yams. York. Everyone knows Nigga. what a patelito is. No, I don't everybody don't. Nothing. If you from New York and you ate, you got to know what a patelito is, bro. I don't know. I yes, don't know. he does Are you trying to Google it? Yes, bro? I am going to show you because that's bro. insane. I'm, it's from party from New York watching bro, you right now. What, like, what the hell is a patelito? Is, bro? I don't. All right. Tell, explain so to me what it is. So we just keep moving on. Yeah, so so teach I only, me. Put me on. I, bro, patelito is like, I don't know how to explain it, bro. You see the little old lady <laughs> with the cart walking <laughs> around, <laughs> walking around selling patelitos. I don't know how so, to explain so, it. So you buy this, Take this like food a, give her a dollar. Yeah, the give her a dollar, too, for the patelito. Um, Lemonade, she makes the lemonade in the thing. That's another two dollars, three dollars. So it's a three dollar meal. Yeah, three, two, probably four. Four dollar meal. Probably. Could you give a little tip? Yeah, probably no. No, no tip. She tags it. Okay. Probably oh, she. Oh, she okay, okay. It. You, you I can't. It? The reception in here is horrible. Oh, uh, you see, I gotta get new Wi-Fi in my. Yeah, house? Wi-Fi. <laughs> Wi-Fi, yes. So, all right, so, so, so. Only thing I know with the little people, they got the little block of ice and like, shh, shh, shh. Mm, shh. That's the oh, one. yeah, that shit bust. That's yeah, you know what I'm saying? You that's see busting. that in New York. I see that in New York. Okay. That should be but I don't know what a pot to leave. Yes, you do. Now, you got to know what's that, bro. You probably don't know what I'm talking about it because some of you don't know, but you probably got to see You've it. You've had an empanada before in your life. You're talking about a beef patty. It's similar. I don't know. You're being disrespectful. Nah, it's no, like no, it looked like it. It, it, it looked like it. it. I don't know. It looked like it's a like Spanish it. beef patty, pretty much. Yes. Yeah, it's a Spanish uh, beef patty, but it's, it don't. I got didn't grow up in a Spanish it. neighborhood, so I. I so. But you date Spanish girls. Yeah, I do. That don't mean they I eat patelitos. They never have ginger empanada, like. Nah, no. gang. If you if you dated a Spanish girl, she had to cook for you something, or had to tell you like what. Tell a, me what it is. What a, what that is. I'm, just, I'm dating the wrong Spanish girls because she never told me what this is. The cheese and the lemon, the lemonade. Yo, please get your Wi-Fi. Oh, that's what it is. The cheese and the lemonade, bro. I don't know how to explain it, bro. You got to see even, the, don't even, don't uh, even. You got to see the old lady walking with the well, I'm a, Yo, next time I'm going to go somewhere, I'll be like, yo, what's up? Yo, can we get that? You know what I'm saying? Patelitos. <laughs> I need one right now. Where did you get your name from? My block, Sugar Hill. And then, feel me, feel me, my name started with a D. Mm-hmm. So I just put the D and the dot. Sugar but, Hill, so, D dot. So, so, so the dot is, I, just, so I'm not confused. Like, now... You put where your hood is first, and then the dot is... To be specific, yes. bro, I do not know. Okay. I just know... <laughs> no, 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 Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. D dot, everybody in the hood, like like a year ago, a year and a half ago, oh, everybody had an A dot, this dot, this. I was like, bro, fuck, I'm just making myself... I'm, I'm, I'm D dot, nigga. D fuck dot. Uh-huh. So I'm, instead of just D dot, I put Sugar Hill on the front, mm-hmm. and now it's Sugar Hill D dot. D dot, uh-huh. Like, no, so now it just sounds better. And oh, okay. Longer. So when somebody write about it, they take their time. Uh, oh, you didn't even know that, see? So you used uh, to go to school or do you do like Oh, uh, yeah, homeschooling? Homeschool, homeschool. You're homeschooled? Mm-hmm. Okay. You like that. it better like that? Yeah, feel me? I don't really. I'm still waking up, shit, but like the waking up in the morning, like before, was a hassle, bro. I used to hate like waking up and then going to walk in mad cold in the morning and walking to school. I used to hate all that, bro. You you don't feel like that's that's like damn. I go to school. I'm just, you know, it's mad people like friends or you get to meet new people. And it would be bad if I go right now, no cap. And not saying it in a bad way, like something will happen. It's just like the, the teacher's not going to jack it, bro. Like the whole class is gonna be worried about me just because mm-hmm. of who I am. Oh, now that's him. That's him. And there, it's, it's just everything. I mean, it's just, that was your decision not to go, or someone nah, else my to... decision too. I didn't, I didn't want to go, but then for me, everything just added up. For me, like for me, everything just added up. For me, for me I just accepted homeschool. <laughs> no, and then security measures too, right? Yeah, like, that too. That makes sense. That, that's that's another big reason. For me, that's another. And then just 
what I just told you right now, everybody gonna be worried about me. Like when I walk through the halls, everybody gonna be like, yo, that's D Dot, oh, that's him, or that. Everybody just gonna be worried about me. So I know teachers and shit will be mad at that. So wouldn't want. So I, mean, I wouldn't want to stop their class, nigga. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, it makes sense between that and security. Like in security, that's another issue too for me. But I mean, homeschooling just way better. How do you prepare your shows? I don't know. Like they tell me I got a show. Tell me I got a show. Lock in. You know what I mean? Do you sit there and say, "Oh, I'm gonna perform this first over this," or just be like, "Let no, just let's let's get busy. We 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 gonna see." Nah, it's like I, I choose my songs that I want to perform. And then I told him, yo, just make sure I got Chick-fil-A there for me by the time I get there. I'm What's good. the best Some sauce towels. for Chick-fil-A, too? I don't eat sauce. I told you that. Oh, none. <laughs> 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 he dead serious. like, I told you. I don't eat, I don't eat no fucking sauce. I don't like that shit. Oh, I got, well, I got some, some what did you say, you don't like the Chick-fil-A. What is it, Indonesia or something like that sauce? What is it? Polynesian. Polynesian. I think they should be making up names for the sauces and stuff. I don't even like no type of sauce, like. No cap. Only Ketchup, sauce, nothing. Only sauce I ever ate. It was two sauces, and it was McDonald's. Sour, the green shit, sour cream, I think, sour. Sweet and sweet, sour. Sweet and sour and ranch. That's the only one I ate from McDonald's. Only sauces I ever ate. But, like, I'm picky. I'm picky, bro. I don't like, I don't like none of that shit. I don't, like <laughs> I don't, like don't ask him no more about no sauces. The sauces, right? <laughs> Get him aggravated. All right. So when the next project is coming out? Oh, I can't tell you that, so. Okay, it's a secret. I can't tell you that, yeah. Uh, just, I'm just in my mode right now, album mode, for me, just in my mode. Got an album coming out soon, for me, an EP, for me, coming out soon. But meanwhile, got 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 songs dropping on the way, too. My, my album coming soon, dropping this year. So, so for your album, um, if somebody's watching, um, who would you want to reach out to if somebody watching right now so you could publicly reach like out to them? Like somebody I want on my album? Mm-hmm. Like, mm, I don't really know. I ain't gonna lie, I'm really in my own mode right now. Like, I'm, I'm got a lot of songs on my album, like just me, because I want people to just see my new my new um sound and see the new me instead of like five months ago, eight months ago, the squeaky voice did out or the drill rapping. Mm -hmm. I want. Got a lot of songs on my album, just me. So I don't really got a lot of artists, but I got, for me, an artist I would really want on my album, probably like Money Bag Yo. For me, uh, uh, who who else? Friday, Friday, uh, Friday, one of my favorite rappers too. For me, I shot him out a lot. So that's one of my rappers that for me got locked in with him too. Um, Friday, oh, my son Meek Mill, I, don't, I fuck with Meek too, I want him on my album. I mean, little Baby, just, I mean, the artists that I, I mean, look uh -huh. up to. I mean, all right, all right, so hopefully they watching this and they and they locked in, man. Um, hold on, I think there's one more. Oh, my son, I'm locked in on oh, my son Tusi too, I want my son mm. Tusi on my album. That's one of her favorites. I love Tusi. Yeah, me and my Tusi. son Tusi locked in, but that's... Somebody I would want. I mean, I had a show. My son brought me out to the show. Okay. Well, salute yeah, he's, to them. he's a real one. You want to say anybody to somebody in, 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 in Sugar Hill? Uh, you look of at course, yeah, the bros. That camera, right? The bros already know. Like, okay. I got, I mean, I can't tell y'all who on my album for me. Who, no, who, I'm saying you just want to shout out somebody? Oh, um, my favorite rappers from, from my oh, block. The, the people, my no, favorite. Shout out anybody, period. Uh, my favorite. First off, my bad. Shout out grandma. Hello. Now of course that's always okay. a shout out. She get a shout out without without, <coughs> mm -hmm. without the cameras. But favorite rappers from my side that I feel like they they going uh Bloody Bloody from the O. Judy Low, Sugar Hill Chris, Benzo B, and who else? Uh who else? Fuck. Got so many rappers, bro. So many rappers from my side. Benzo B. Who else? Damn. Y'all don't know nobody else? Damn. Yeah. It's that Chris already, right? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, salute to them, man. Thanks for coming by my crib. And yeah, uh, hopefully, bro. you know, I get to hear this new album and we make it happen. 
Hey, it's the Gwen and God DJ self. Now we're in my kitchen, right? So, um, D dot. Um, so I have uh, these these Durkio hot puffy puffin fries. So um, we couldn't get Dirk to do a song with you, so we just I mean, this was a consolation prize right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> some, some chips. So I want you to taste these, and uh, you can also ask for little baby to, uh, to get on your album. So um, let's 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 taste their chips. Got you. All right, we could do that. Got you. I would do that. So now this is uh, this is Durkio's wrap snacks. Wrap snacks. Hot puffin fries. Let me see what these are about. Eh? Smell good. Smell good. Okay, cool. Look all right. Too. So I know, like like teenagers now, they like like that that hot stuff, flaming hot and all that, right? Mm-hmm. Nah, I don't like hot. A lot oh, okay. of people my age do. Is it too hot? Good. It's like it's perfect, but it's like it's like it's like the hot the hotness come and then like it leaves, so it's like sturdy. I'll oh, so it's it. like it's, it's it need to be hotter. No, no, no. It's it's good f- just for me. Oh, for you? Oh, okay. <laughs> good just for me. Oh, good. You got another one. You keep eating them. You make it like you hotter and hotter. You did. <laughs> you're the hot to leave, right? <laughs> All right. So now, uh, shout out to QC Four PF. Um, this one is super interesting, right? So this is uh wrap snacks nacho. Nachos, tortilla chips by Lil Baby. Um, the weird part of this is, is All In. He got a song called All In. Mm-hmm. So um, this is literally All In. Salt and vinegar, barbecue, onion mm-hmm. and garlic. garlic, nacho cheese, and more. I think I picked the wrong chip. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I think and I more. So let's let's try this one. And then celebrate. Let me get one more. Okay, go ahead. Let me get one more of this before I go over there, okay? <laughs> Let's see what this one is. Let's see what this one is. Okay. Damn, man. <laughs> It look good because it got baby on it, but then when you read this shit, <laughs> this read shit got it got mad fucking. Woo! You it smell, smell like vintage. Oh, uh, yeah? <laughs> mm, I don't like it. I don't like that smell. <laughs> I, I don't hear like it. That like smell. It. I don't like that smell, man. Damn, look at all that shit on that shit. It's mad. You can see it on it, right? Should look like fake blue Doritos. Hold on. Let me try it. Hold on. Dirty. Is that all right? Okay, all right, good. All right, all right. <laughs> I want another one though. That's it. That's it. I'll take another one of these. All right. So, so lastly, in, in the kitchen at home, what is your favorite meal to eat? Low cap. I don't know if you know, but like mashed potatoes, you know, call that papa in Spanish. Mashed papa? potatoes, yeah, in Spanish call that papa. Mm-hmm. Mashed potato. You got the cheese on the side, you know. Got the salami. That's what I eat in the morning. I mean, when I on a daily, probably like some red red beans, white rice, steak, like I mean, steak, steak with peppers, peppers. Steak that you made, the little steak that you make for me when you eat. I don't know. I think it's called chuleta in Spanish. Pork chop. Pork chop. Yeah, that's what it's called. My for you, not steak. Pork chop. Mhm. Okay. All right. All right. That's, that's, that's it. That's it. Um, okay, like, cool. He eating it. Outside this shit, deal. <laughs> All right, man. Well, thank you for coming to my kitchen. Thank you for coming to my crib. Thank you for giving me these chips, buddy. Yeah, that's yours. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Sugar Hill D. Dot, baby. Shout to the whole Harlem. Shout to New York City. Shout to the whole East Coast. Shout to America. We out here, baby.